So then my final question for you is in terms of talent acquisition, I feel that we have kind of, we are kind of in a place that we know the whole process, post the job, phone interviews, face-to-face -face interviews, follow-ups. And then once they are inside, they become employee experience because we emphasize a lot on candidate experience, but sometimes some companies are forgetting about the employee experience when they are here, exit interviews, and then alumni. Is there anything has changed in the whole talent acquisition? Did pandemic open doors for more AI or for more like Zoom interviews is something new that I have think that uh, pandemic opened the door. But is there anything different in the talent acquisition world that we should be aware of? You know, the, I, you said it brilliantly as you usually do. The process is the same. Set standards, what's expected, source candidates, screen candidates, secure candidate, orient candidate. Those steps are, they've been around for forever. I mean, that's not new. Um, but each of those steps has a tweak. Standards. It's not just technical, it's cultural fit. Mm -hmm. Do you fit the culture of our company? Do you fit the values of our company? Source. We can expand sourcing through LinkedIn, through referral hiring, screening. We now do internet screening. Securing. One of the lessons on screening I'm seeing is AI can take you from 1,000 applicants down to 30 or 40 mm -hmm. based on your resume and build a resume with the words in it that that company is yes. looking for. That's why the homework is so important in our previous discussion. But then that from 20 to the five that you hire, it's going to have to be either face to face or in person. I still don't, I haven't seen research. You may have seen it. Will Zoom interviews replace face to face in person? I don't know. I think Zoom interviews are better than phone. They're better than the non-interviews because you can see each other. I see the, by the way, what's the picture behind your left shoulder? That's a beautiful picture. That's my painting, one of my paintings that I've done. You did that? Yes. Oh my goodness! Is where is it? What's the what's the setting? It's an abstract. Yeah. It's an abstract. It can yeah, be it interpreted as however you want. I love it. It reminds me of a visit to Newfoundland, the, the beauty of the area, and a little bit northern light. So that's by the way, that's a Rorschach test. My wife's a psychologist. She'd tell me what that means. Mm -hmm. But but you you set standards, you source, you screen, you secure. Give the employee a great value proposition around what we talked about in another session. Believe, become, and belong. Yeah. And then finally, orient the person. Give them a great first job. Yeah. And a mentor and a network of mentors. So those steps are the same, but I think we're seeing some innovations in how they work. Those are great tips, Dev. I really enjoyed. And with that, my interview with you comes. You know what? We're not done. I'm going to do a bonus question. And I'm going to surprise Maher and we're going to come back and we're going to, do you want to do it now or do you want to do another segment? You can come back. All we'll right. Come back. We'll do a bonus segment. Yes.